Hello everyone. Here we are, just like that. It's round three. Um, round two's come and gone. Disappointment. You know, grateful to have the footy back. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot has been said about round two, but it's time to move on. We go up to the cattery now in round three, and you know, I'm I'm very excited. Um, I think I'm more excited just to get round two completely out of the system. Um, and we have an opportunity, you know, we have an opportunity to test ourselves against a really good opponent, uh, a great opponent, really. You know, we, one thing about Geelong, particularly early in the season, over the last few years, they've been really, really sharp, especially at home. You know, they get to that bye period and then afterwards in the second half of the year, that's where they sometimes slip up and, and lose that form. So we're going to be in for it. Um, I love these games. I love these games because, you know, you know what you're going to get from Geelong. You know they're going to be really, really hard to beat. Um, and it's I, th I really do believe it's going to bring out the best in us. Um, we have to. We have to play our best probably just to keep up with them. Um, you know, am I, am I confident in winning? I mean, honestly, I'm not because, I mean, I respect Geelong. Um, I, I'd be, it'd be crazy to say I think we're definitely going to win. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit funny, you know, every every week I go into a game, I try and make a case for why we can win and sort of, I watched Geelong on Friday night against Hawthorne and, you know, we know Hawthorne coached by the best, if not one of the best coaches in the AFL and even of all time and, you know, it was a really good first half and then they just pulled away and I do worry about our ability because if they did that to a, a side that's coached, you know, by someone like Clarkson, it's just... There are some worry signs for me. I, I feel like for us to, to win the game, we're going to need to have a sort of like a coming of age performance from three or four, maybe even five guys. Like I feel like Cripps and Doherty have to be at their absolute best. Eddie Betts has to be at his best. McGovern, Petrovsky, Seaton, um, you know, these guys, I think we, we need, it's a big ask. It is a big ask. And it, it's different from the round two game against the D's because I think we're a better club than the D's. I think we're a better side than the D's. I don't have that same inkling this week. Um, but nevertheless, I mean, you know, we the way we support and the way we watch our boys, we do want an effort uh, for four quarters. We want an intensity for four quarters. And, you know, I just want to see us improve from last week um, and, and, you know, not embarrass ourselves. You know, we, we can't afford, in my, this is the way I see it, we can't afford to have these 10 goal, 11 goal losses. You know, they've, they've got to become a thing of the past. You know, 2018 was... 2018, we we didn't have as many of those terrible 10 goal plus performances last year. We still had a few. We've got to cut them in half again this year. So, you know, it, you know, just the way Geelong move the ball. Uh, they they know GMHBA Stadium. Um, I think I saw a stat somewhere on Twitter that we're the only club in the history, maybe one of two clubs, to have a 50% or more winning. Um, record, you know, in Geelong. So, you know, it, it's going to take a special performance, and it's going to take it's going to take a lot of extra um, to get this to get this win. Um, but I look at guys to really test themselves against the best players in the comp. Um, Geelong, you know, similar to what Melbourne did in the first quarter, but I saw Geelong doing it a lot throughout the game. When they look for that kick in board, you know, it's it's precise. Um, I would want to see us try do stuff that I really would. I would, I would want to see us try and play how we played in that second half against Melbourne, where we, you know, looked for that inboard kick, um, lowered the eyes, used the short kick, and then run it out. You know, I, I tactically, you know, that's something that's above my head. I don't know, I don't know the tactics of how to beat Geelong. That's that's not in my domain. Um, but me as a supporter and what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a really hard effort from the first bounce. You know, can we win the first quarter? Yes, we absolutely can. I mean, if we come out and we do the same thing again and we let them get on a six goal or seven goal run in the first quarter again, I don't know, like still going to support them. Obviously, I still love the club and, and all of that, but you know, we'll be, we'll be left asking, you know, when is it going to end again? And, you know, Sam Doherty spoke yesterday about the starts. This is what he had to say. As a leader of the footy club, we've got to get it right. Otherwise, we're going to put ourselves out of games and all the boys understand that. The coaching staff understand that and um, we'll be ready to go this week. And, you know, do we, you know, we've heard it. We heard it in the preseason and, you know, I take his word for it. I mean, he, I'm sure he knows what he's saying. He's a very intelligent guy. He's a, a strong leader of the club. Um, he's put it out there. He didn't need to put it out there, but he has. And so... Do we take his word? I guess we do. I mean, I do. I take his word for it. That's the 
captain, co-captain of the footy club saying, you know, we'll be ready. We're going to address it and we'll be ready. So mentality, whatever it is, I don't know. Now, for the changes, uh, these are just what I think. I mean, I think Lang will go out and I think Jack Silvani will come back in. I'm assuming that he is over his bout of gastro. So uh, uh, that's probably one change that I would make. Um, I think I would, I mean, obviously Nick Newman is, is going to come out. We know he's going to be out for the season. Terrible news. So I'd be looking, really looking to see Tom Williamson come in. And I think he's a guy that can come in and really show some aggression there. And, you know, I watched, I ended up watching the Gold Coast game against West Coast and they started picking at uh, West Coast, the Suns. It was fantastic. And, you know, they got under the skin of Jeremy McGovern and uh, that's for me, that's how we're going to win this game. If we come out there with an aggression um, and not let them think like, oh, this is Carlton, we know they're going to fold at some point. So there's that. So yeah, Willow, Jack Silvani. I'm, you know, I'm sort of borderline with Jack Noons. Um, part of me says he should come out. The other part of me says, no, no, give him another week. You know, this guy is a senior guy. And he's a senior body. Um, and, you know, at a place like Geelong, do we bring in a guy like Lockie O'Brien? It's hard to say because I don't, you know, we didn't really get a good gauge of how he performed in that scratch match. You know, they, were, they played with three less players um, compared to their opponents, and it's, it's just hard to gauge. So I don't know. I think if that was going to be a change, it might be Noons out for O'Brien. But I'm, I'm for now, I'll give Noons one more shot. I want to, you know, give him the opportunity to have a real crack at it. Maybe he's a guy that needs some continuity. Um, I didn't enjoy his game in round two, but you know, I, I, I'm willing to give him another shot. Uh, I don't have that same feeling for Darcy Lang, but that's just me. Um, if, like I said in the show last night, if there's one guy I'm just not worried about, it's Tom Hawkins. Now that could come back and bite me in the ass. Just like when I said last week that uh, Melbourne don't have the ability to kick six or seven straight goals against us. But you know, I, I, Jacob Wiedering has developed into a player where I've got that absolute faith in him. Um, in you know, I'm not saying he's going to keep Tom Hawkins goalless, but end of the day, I don't I don't believe that Tom Hawkins will kick six, seven goals on him. I think no matter what, Jacob's always going to find a way to make it competitive. So there's that. Um, I remember we had a really good game with uh, against Geelong. I think it was it might have been 2018. Um, I remember Lockie Plowman had a blinder against them. He, he I remember him coming out with this aggression and. Um, I remember being really sort of upset at him for, I think it was the week before, but um, I remember thinking he, he ha we have some success with Lockie Plowman against Geelong. So I'm looking forward to that. Currently, as it stands, it looks like it might rain. So obviously it nullifies things a bit, but listen, it's, it's the contest. It's the application. It's that mental intensity from the outset. Can we come out with the aggression that we all want to see them play with. I think everyone wants to have a brand of football, um, you know, where it has elements of real hard and, you know, a real toughness to it. I think everybody wants that. And I, I want that as well. And I'm sure you do as well. So uh, that's how I see it. What about you? What, what, what are you looking for this week? Is it as simple as just showing up and giving it effort? Um, are you demanding a win? Are you expecting a win? You know, let's let's dive deeper into this. I really enjoyed the exchanges after the round two. Uh, I'm looking forward to that again. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking for this week. Uh, give me your ins and outs uh, and why or, or why not. And uh, let's let's discuss it. We're we're back. Go the mighty blues. <laughs> <laughs>